Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do another Christmas um, look and I'm gonna use again the Morphe James Charles palette but feel free to use whatever you have at home. We are gonna use actually just few um, eyeshadow because this look is gonna be more focused on uh, eyeliner, it will be a particular eyeliner, and you're gonna see what we are gonna do. So, first step, I'm gonna use this color and then this color, blend it in the crease to deepen up my crease. So let's start with the lighter one. I'm using a blending brush that is not so big but this is just because my crease actually my eyes are not too big. So it depends on which kind of eye you have. This one is perfect for me. And I like this color too. Then, then, then. So uh, to deepen it up, I'm gonna take another blending brush. This one, for example, is, co is from Coastal Scent. Is a uh, smaller than the other one, or another one that you can choose to use. For example, this one from Elf. You have to choose a brush that is more or less the same size of your crease, just because we want to deepen up this part right here. And I'm gonna use the deeper shade that I showed you before. So what I'm gonna do is I put the, I place the brush here and I start from the external part and then bring the rest on the inner part. And then again. I take again same shape. Start from here and then forwards. I'm gonna take another small brush, for example, this is uh, from AKK, yes, made in Italy. It's essentially like a pencil brush, so you can use whatever you have. I can show you that I have others too, for example, this one from Essence, or another one that is from ELF, an eye crease brush, like this. And we are gonna gradually take this shade right here. And place it in the external part of the eye. Let's do it gradually. Place the color here, as you can see and then bring it upwards. Again, a little bit more here on the bottom and then up.
what we are gonna do now is to take the uh, the brush that we used before for this shade in the middle and just blend the edges like this. The important thing is like to stay right in the crease. You see when I push I can see my crease and I have to stay there. So before going to the under eye, I want to use a bright color that is still matte but not um, uh, still matte, not shimmer, but really, really um, or white or cream. I was thinking about. Mm, I might prefer a white actually. It's gonna be awesome with the other color of the eyeliner. So we're gonna take this color here, right here and we're gonna put it in the center of the lid. To do that I'm gonna use uh, for example this, plot, this uh, brush. This is a flat brush. From the needle to the corner. From the middle to the corner. And then now that we don't have to pick up color, blend this part between the brown and the white. Blend like this. So there are no hash lines. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take a pencil brush like this, I showed you before, take some white again, and put it right here, in the inner corner to highlight it. Nothing dramatic, but still pretty. As color, I'm, I'm gonna use this Vivid Bright. This is called uh, Bad Blonde. From the packaging, it looks like it looks deeper than uh, it is in reality. So I'm gonna use an angled brush. The angled brush that I'm gonna use is, for example, this one from this is from Essence Precise Eyeliner Brush. I really like this kind of brushes because you can uh, you can you can draw the tail and then uh, really easily and then con uh, and then draw the other line on top with no As you can see, the red is much lighter than expected. Just be careful because these eyeliners are really, really dry. That's why I really love the colors, but. It's really hard to use. Don't worry about being precise because we are gonna use uh, an eyeshadow on top. Yeah. This is just the base for our eyeliner. As you can see, it's really dry and a bit crumbly. So. What I really like actually from NYX are the other ones, the other really good ones. 
Now I'm gonna take another uh, angle brush and I'm gonna, for example, I can use this one from Wet n Wild and I'm gonna use this red right here from the James Charles palette. And then I'm gonna go right on the eyeliner that I used before. We'll be taking an eyeliner, for example, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one that is one of my favorites. This one is the Fenty Beauty. And I'm gonna draw lines that are external. Go directly really close to the lashes. So the mascara I decided to use for today is the IT Superhero. It's a really good volumizing mascara. This is the effect with the swan coat. Let's try to build it up. Careful because as soon as you open it so like a few days after it's still really wet, wet consistency so it tends to create some clumps but as you can see the result is false lashes without using false lashes that's the effect that I want to have you see? So one thing that we have to do now are the lips. So for the today look I'm gonna use this pencil from Essence that is called Femme Fatale. Okay and now I'm gonna use the the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Pioneer 20. For the last step, I'm gonna use a uh, highlighter and I'm gonna use this one from uh, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. And I'm gonna use this real technique from brush. I'm gonna highlight my cheeks. This is the final look, I hope that you like it, 
uh, if you like it please subscribe to, the ch to my channel and see you next time